Will you have a drink, old squad? Forget 2020. This 1920s Great Gatsby immersive theatre show was London's first West End show to sell tickets and return from lockdown in October. Like, this is the most ridiculous, difficult adventure of my life. But, you know, and I don't mind that I get emotional about it. Um, this is the hardest thing we've ever done. And Gatsby really is one of the first shows to come back. So how have they done it? Well, on top of masks, cutting venue capacity and your standard social distancing measures, Brian Hook at Immersive Everywhere says the entire show has had to be redesigned. We've had to make some fundamental changes to the show, so there are some scenes that we used to have. For instance, we used to have a 250-person Charleston. Now, it was really gorgeous to watch, but it's probably not the most responsible thing to do, so we've turned that into uh, uh, a new scene. Audience members Rosie O'Connell and Jess Peter told us they were grateful to be back. It was quite emotional, really. Like, I don't know, seeing actors doing what they're meant to be doing and audiences what they're meant to be doing, you know? It's kind of sad that <laughs> it's not going to carry on. I've just cried my eyes out um, at the finale um, because I, I perform as well, just in amateur stuff. So for me, I'm missing that. Um, I want to be on stage. And so to see um, people performing after so long, it's filled my soul. It's filled my heart. It was great. At another theatre over in Brazil, another method of reopening. This time a play called Volpole Protocol. It's an outdoor space with small plastic cabins for the audience. Even the actors wear face masks and don't touch each other, interrupting their movements in the air just before touching their fellow actors. The play's director, Johanna Albuquerque, says they were the first live performance to open with an audience in Sao Paulo, along with only 10 other stages in the city. Aqui, não exatamente provando nada, mas mostrando um protótipo, um exemplo de que é possível se fazer teatro antes da chegada da vacina com todos os uh, protocolos de segurança para que o público se sinta seguro e tenha uh, e possa acessar o teatro. And in Central Europe, Czechs are enjoying takeaway theatre despite being back in lockdown. Prague troupe Cirque La Putica has opened a culture window at a marketplace building where an audience up to four outside can watch a five-minute live show of music, acrobats and dancing inside, while still observing social distancing rules. Most agree it'll take new thinking like this to get theatres back on their feet. If you sit and listen to those audience members uh, cheer our performers on and you see the cast members just do their job really, really well. Um, it's honestly one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So I would say try, <laughs> I'd say fight for it. And there are people out there who need this in their lives, you know. Do not go quietly into the night.